Alright, enjoy this while it lasts, because this is the only time we're going to be up here. It actually has a second floor. How awesome is that? So yeah, you gotta make... So you gotta make sure not to drop down, and you can't drop anything down, because they'll... I'm here at the uh, crash. The other one told me to do Squirtella, but the city air does not suit my skin. Your rocky skin, huh? How's it come to this, huh? Boss is walking the streets of town. What in the world are the souls of Hyrule doing? The clowns are so much more reliable than they are, it's not even funny. Right. What? Well, that sound? Yeah, do that too many times and they'll spot you. I heard that acquaintance that Tell us to be the beast that had been tagging towards on the bridge. His name was Link. It sounds as though he brought Tell and her young ward to Kakariga Village. And here I was thinking Hyrule's empty men of valor. Oh no, I don't believe he's from Hyrule proper at all. No, my understanding is that he's from the small neighboring ponds of Wardana. This may sound probably illitous, but people who do not know the city, city simply do not know fear. You're gonna know those guys are about later on. In fact, that's actually uh, someone's group that she told us about. Here's where all the pose are going to be used. This was meant to be the first pose we collect, but I collected two ahead of time. Ha! Because I could. Oh, thanks for being the ghost. Can I call you Doggy? The only human we can talk to as a wolf. I'm Giovanni. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat Genzel is on my head. I don't think I can be more miserable. I'd ask you a favor, Doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think if you can free the piece of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway, waterway for you. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? He actually, uh, showed you that earlier, remember? Eh, it's... deep as a slim. So, yeah. Tullus' house is connected to Giovanni's house, even though they're on entirely different sides. Well, it's sort of like parallel to each other, but not like, not like sitting right next to each other, so it's kind of weird how the little vent connects and stuff. So yeah. This is the last time, first and last time the game will be coming through here. Which is very sad, I know, but what can you do, huh? But it's going to get added to our, ma to our map anyway. And it's still technically a part of Castle Town. I can't really run faster holding this torch because it'll run start as me throwing the torch. Get up there, stupid! What the? Oh, I forgot. You can't. You won't go up until these guys are dead, cause the tent will be all over them, which is very stupid. Where's that spider going? Yeah, it might look like there's more to this area. Like feed chests or something, but really there isn't. And guess where we are now? The beginning of the game. It's this area, room four. Except those little secret, those little cells we can enter aren't added on the map anymore, which is weird. Because technically that was the twilight. This is the light. But yeah, we actually get to see what this area looks like in the light. Um, since Minna's out of commission, we gotta use the tight ropes. Damn it!
Ow! Oh, come on! Stupid angles! Should've said that. Okay, then. I'm just gonna kill you now, because you are very ANNOYING! Thank God demons can't swim for whatever reason. I mean, water kills them in Wind Waker, it kills them here, too. Okay, since we can't use Minna to jump over there, we gotta have the wind blow on those bridges so we can hop across. That is a pretty cool little mechanic. Sadly, it's the only time we use that mechanic in the game, which very much sucks. Please, please tell me, how do we break the curse on this one? This is one, you need him to save your world. That's why, Princess, please, you must help Link. Binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the curtain of twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Baron. There you'll find the blade of evil's bane that was cracked by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil. That blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Link, you are sent by the goddesses. Like you, I have been granted special powers by the goddesses. Fine, Link. You can, you can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess, I have one last request. Can you tell him where to find the Mirror of Twilight? Minna, I believe I understand now just who and what you are. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you, have, you who have reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Minna. I pass it to you. No, wait! Stop her!
thought it fades away to nothingness. We get back, Link. Back to Farron Woods. Zelda, I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. 